Hello everyone, hi. I thought I would do a live video from home today um, since we're not going to the store every day. Um, I know a few people are tuning in that I texted and sent messages to, so I'll wait a little bit to see if anyone pops in. And I have my desk behind me. I'll be um, showing you guys um, some of the little decorations and things that I've used on my desk. But um, if I don't say, if I don't shout out to you personally, it's because I didn't see you come up. Um, hi, Lindsay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Shelby. It actually worked this time. So um, Sam told me that Shelby had said that, oh, why doesn't Bria ever do a shout out to me when I'm watching the live videos? <laughs> and it's because it actually didn't tell me that you were watching. I didn't even see your comment um, on the last one um, until after the video was over. So for whatever reason, um, let me see, I can do a little wave to you guys. That's fun. Um, for whatever reason, uh, it doesn't always show me everyone who is watching live. So um, comment, and I think if you comment, I should be able to see it. But if I don't do a shout out to you that, you know, to thank you for watching, it's not because I don't love and miss you. It's because it's just not showing it to me. So, um, so don't be sad. But I will try and do a shout out to everyone who it does show me. Um, but yeah, hi, Lindsay and Shelby. So far, those are the people that I see. But um, it also tells me four people are watching. So see, it doesn't always tell me everyone who is watching. So anyway, I thought I would do this live video from home today to show you guys my workspace that I set up. Um, I know a lot of us are working from home right now um, due to the shelter in place. And I wanted to start off by saying that I feel incredibly lucky that I work at a place that I can work from home. I know there are a lot of people who are, you know, servers or who are working in salons who don't have that option. So I wanted to say that um, I feel so, so very lucky that I have the ability in my job to work from home. So with that said, I want to show you guys my workstation. Um, and uh, I also want to see yours. So I'll mention this again after the video, but I would love to see, you know, I'm really curious what everyone's work from home setup is like. So feel free to share them. Um, you could share a photo in the comments later, or you can tag us if you post it just on your own social media. Tag us so we can see what your work from home station looks like and whether or not it incorporates jewelry, because that's what we want to know too. Because um, uh, we're all basically, um, Lindsay sent me a photo of hers when I had the idea to do this, and hers is really lovely. And we're all, um, basically incorporating things that, that make us happy and make us feel grateful during this time too. So um, jewelry is one of those things, crystals are those things. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. Hi, Sam, I see you watching. <laughs> Shelby says, yay, I'm glad I show up now. I'm glad you do too, Shelby. Okay, so let me see if I can just switch the camera here so that I can show you my desk. All right. So first of all, first of all, um, I want to show you this cool background that I made. So this was at one point an Instagram post and I recently decided I want that to be my desktop background. So I made it bigger um, and made it rectangular so it could be my background. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous ring from Omi Privé. It is a beautiful, beautiful pale light blue sapphire and it has a halo of light blue sapphires and a halo of diamonds and it's just so 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 pretty and so a long time ago um i think it was at least a couple years ago i was inspired by this photo of this ring to make a post incorporating deja blue so hence the deja blue so that's my background right now and it makes me really happy i recommend having a beautiful background when you're working from home to make you happy like this. <laughs> and if you want this one, I'll send it to you. Or if you want me to make one with a different piece of jewelry, I would gladly do that for you. So definitely let me know. Send me a comment here and I'll do that. So I will also show you without further ado some of the things on my desk. So this, I have lots of candles by the way because they make me happy and they smell good. Um, this is a gorgeous candle that I got at um, Preston Wynn Spa, actually, our neighbor in the courtyard. 
and it's a uh, Voluspa Milk Rose. It smells absolutely amazing. And it has this really pretty like iridescent looking um, case that it comes in, or I guess holder. Um, it's gorgeous and I can't wait to use this once the candle is done. It's almost done. Um, I'm gonna use this for like jewelry or rings or something because it's so, so pretty. I highly recommend these candles and there were a lot of other scents and they were all amazing. I gave them away as Christmas gifts a couple years ago, I think, and everyone was really happy with them. I have this cool cat candle that I have yet to ever light up. I've had it for years and um, my brother gave it to me for Christmas one year and it's really cool. When you do light it, it melts and underneath is a metal skeleton of a cat, which I think is super cool. Um, I'm kind of, you know, into that kind of stuff. But I can't bring myself to light it because I just think it's such a cool, it's like a faceted looking cat. And so I haven't, I've had it for years and I haven't lit it yet. But maybe I'll start doing that. Maybe I'll light it and see the cool cat skeleton that lives underneath. Um, and I have a selenite crystal. So selenite is a super, super cool stone. Um, it is really soft, so it can't be made into jewelry most of the time because it's, it's brittle and pieces break off, but it can be made into really cool like wands and things like that. Look at how cool it is to look through that. It's almost like fiber optics when you look through. You can see, see my finger through it, and you can see the light through it. I love this crystal. It's very like light and beautiful. And selenite is named for the Greek word selene for the moon. And you can see why it's just such a cool glowing crystal. Sam, you do need to get some crystals. They're super fun. I love them. This one's really cool too. I like the shape of it. So there's that crystal. I have this beautiful notebook that Lindsay Beach bought for us employees of Deja & Co. And these pretty blue pens that make me happy because I like pretty pens. Deja likes using up old, ugly pens, but I like using pretty pens. <laughs> She's going to be mad about that job. <laughs> um, and then I have a couple hard drives. They're not plugged in right now, but because um, I wanted to look more aesthetic without the wires, but one for backups and one for just keeping a lot of larger files. Like when I'm working on the catalog, um, I put all of the jewelry photos and stuff on this hard drive so that I could take it around with me if I need to work on different computers or if I need to um, work from home, especially now that I have this beautiful work from home setup. Um, I have this cool keyboard cover. Um, so when I first got it, some of my coworkers would get really confused if they tried to use my computer because it's just so much going on and you can't see the actual letters right away. So like you kind of freak out and don't know where to put your hands. But um, I type without looking anyway. Um, so this is just a cover that comes up. It's made by KB Covers and I got it um, at this Adobe conference. Um, it is a Photoshop cover and it tells you shortcuts for Photoshop um, actions. So you can A is bringing up the select tool or command A is doing select all. So it just helps me remember Photoshop shortcuts. So I really love this. And sorry, it's a little old and it's getting kind of worn out from overuse, but I love it. It makes me happy. And they make other ones too for different programs and also in different colors if you just want one because it's really protective of your keyboard. You could take it off and wash it. So you can do one that's just colors if you don't want it to be like crazy shortcuts and all of that. <laughs> Lindsay said it's so confusing. It is. It really is. Um, so this is a cool, this is just a crystal paperweight that my grandma gave me recently. She actually gave me a set of three. There's a white one, a black one, and a green one. And they're just fun. I like it as a paperweight. It's pretty. Um, this is a cool um, pyramid prism that one of my family members gave me, I don't remember who, but one of them gave it to me for Christmas. And it's really cool because there's so many different colors and different angles. It's just a really, really pretty fun desk element to have. Now this is really cool. This is pyrite. I don't know if you've ever seen pyrite before. Pyrite is known as fool's gold um, because sometimes when it grows, it looks more like gold, not usually in this growth pattern, but 
Um, you see, it kind of has that, it's more of a gunmetal, but it has these flashes that look really gold. Um, but it's really cool because I didn't know until I saw this crystal that pyrite can grow in these perfect cubes. Like, it's crazy how sharp these are and perfectly formed they are. So the molecular structure is a cube shape like this. It doesn't always form into cubes um, the way that this one does, but when the conditions are right, it does. It can form into other shapes too, though. Marisa says, I have the same thing. Can't remember which family member gave it to us. Oh, the pyramid. I think it might have been our dad, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I'll have to ask him after this video. Marisa is my sister. She's tuning in. Um, so yeah, I love this. I got it at a gift shop for a museum. I think it was the Natural History Museum in either LA or San Diego. I don't quite recall, but really cool. And uh, pyrite, as well as selenite, are known to be protective stones. So they're just fun, fun to have, good things to have on the desk. Um, selenite is, it gets rid of negative energy and it's also lucky. So that's a cool one. And let's see, let me do my mouse pad first. So this is from the Gemological Institute of America. They sent us little goodies and one of them was a beautiful calendar and one of them was this mouse pad. And it's really beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, it is a photo of an amethyst geode. And amethyst is also a really cool stone. Um, let's see, I had looked up some things about some of the stones I have here. Um, so, oh yeah, amethyst is um, supposed to heal the tired mind. So I think that's perfect to look at when you're doing work from home and you get a little bit you know, tired and drained um, as we can get. So I absolutely love having this and it's just so pretty, even though it's just a photo. I actually have a real amethyst geode at the store, but on my desk here, I have this one. So I can still have amethyst with me. Thank you, GIA, for sending that to us. This is a lotus flower candle holder. Pretty sure I got it at World Market and um, it's really cool when we were designing our windows, or actually Sam, who's tuning in, was designing our spring windows for the store. I had the idea, because I rem remembered having this at home, to do um, pretty lotus um, flower candles like this, which the ones in our spring window are actually pink, but um, they're, really, uh, they're really pretty. I think they tied in the elements she was going for for the spring window, which is kind of like bayou like swamp but beautiful spring and pink and it ended up being really pretty i've just got a couple candle holders back here i actually collect cobalt blue stuff so this is a really cool piece that has some silver on it and then a teal one with gold and let's see i have this really cool calendar that i got from uh i forget where i got it from but it's blue sky is the brand and I highly recommend it if you need a calendar like this. It's really cool. It has, I'll show you a month that I haven't written on, but it's got a pretty like deja blue flower print. So that's why I chose this one. And it's actually me and Sam's calendar. It's normally at the store, but I brought it to work from home. I'll flip to a month that I haven't written in so you can see. It's got like the days in there, but it has this really cool section over here that has goals remember projects to do and notes so i like having stuff like that on the side so me and sam are using this as our marketing planning calendar um, to get stuff done and i was using this as a paperweight this is a super cool piece of labradorite do you guys know the stone labradorite we have some of it um, in the store as jewelry oh what did marisa say Amethyst is like the ACV of the crystal world. <laughs> cool. Um, so what's cool about Labradorite, it is in the Feldspar family, which is the same family as Moonstone and Sunstone. So it has that super pretty blue fluorescence, or it's not fluorescence, it's actually, I believe it's called Agilorescence that um, Labradorite and Moonstone have. And um, the Inuit peoples actually have legend that says that it is 
the frozen fire of the aurora borealis and i think that's super cool now i'm always gonna think of that when i look at labradorite and i know that um we have some clients who are in love with our labradorite bead necklace that has the it's like four strands of labradorite and then has the beautiful south sea pearl um so that is this same stone marisa says lab is my favorite i know it's so so pretty so what else do I have here? Oh, I have, this is um, a weekly one that I use. So like I said, this one is me and Sam's marketing one. And then this is just mine that I use for my own notes. That's just one week and has more daily stuff and notes section. And this is also from Blue Sky. So I like their stuff. It's cool. Um, this is a candle that I got from my first intern, my very first intern, Evelyn. Um, when she was leaving to go to college, she gave me this candle and it smells amazing. It's, I think, jasmine and tuberose and it's absolutely just a wonderful smell. So I have a few candles going, but the smells are all really, really good. Oh, this one finally went out. So I'm going to clean that out and use it. Um, but before I finish, I want to show you guys this piece of bismuth. So this is, bismuth is an elemental metal. And look at how cool this is. Like, I am amazed by what nature can make. Um, bismuth is really cool. And one of the most important things about this one right now is that bismuth relieves feelings of loneliness and isolation, which I think we can all use right now <laughs> um, as we are sheltering in place and not getting those social connections that we are normally getting. Um, I also want to say that I feel really grateful that we have technology like this, that we can continue to connect with you guys, even when um, we can't physically, we can still talk to you and interact with you and share things with you. So last but not least, on my desk, I had in the photo at least, well, I had a couple of things. In the photo that I shared earlier, I had my evil eye necklace, which I'm wearing now. And evil, the evil eye is a Turkish symbol of protection. So it's also just, it inspires me and stuff. So I like to either wear it or have it somewhere around, laying around where I can see. Because I, you know, if I am thinking of things and trying to have ideas and brainstorm, if you look at something pretty, it usually helps. <laughs> and lastly, my sapphire ring, which I showed in the last side video. But this is my beautiful blue green um, sapphire which is actually slightly color changing it will um, go from I'm trying to get it to focus maybe if there's a more blank background it'll go from a blue to a green more of a blue green when it's outside and um, this was as some of you guys know this ring was my 30th birthday present to myself last year and it has a really cool message engraved in it which it's going to be impossible to see on this video, but I'll just put it on and show it to you, show you the, the ring on my finger. Um, and I have it stacked with one of our little um, hammered bands. And forgive my nails, they're not done. But um, this ring has a um, an engraving that says, leave it to me. Here, let me switch the camera back so I can talk to you while looking at you. Sort of, virtually looking at you. Um, so, the ring engraving says, leave it to me. And I had that engraved in there because um, last year I was having, or my family was having sort of a hard time and I had to be the strong one and be there for everyone. And I, that was sort of my mantra. Leave it to me was my mantra. Like I can do this. I can be the strong one. Just leave it to me. Let me get things done. So I engraved it in the ring and so I like wearing it in situations like this where it's a little bit difficult you know we're all doing things um, to try and make things better and we're all doing what we can to keep normal life going as much as possible um, so this is a, a situation where I want to wear my ring and have that strength and be reminded that you know no matter what is thrown at us we can get through it, just leave it to us. So anyway, that is my desk. That is my post today, my live today. So I would love um, if I could see 
you guys' work from home stations. I know, like I said, Lindsay has sent me hers, and Deja's gonna send hers, and um, Sam is maybe gonna <laughs> work on it. She's working from her couch mostly, so she um, she's gonna do something too. But um, for all of you Deja darlings out there, I would also love to see your work from home setups and see um, what you're doing and how you're staying productive during this difficult time. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I miss you all, and there will be more live videos to come. We have a special, exciting one planned for Saturday. We might do one tomorrow too, I'm not sure, but for sure on Saturday, I have an idea of one that we're gonna do, and I'm super excited for it. I think you guys are gonna love it. So until then, stay safe, wash your hands, stay healthy. We miss you all. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching with me.